base off camera and I'll be back. So I've done my base makeup off camera and I'll be doing my eyes now. So I'm going to use this Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I'm going to do like an intense purple smoky eyes. So first I'm going to take this shade right here which is called Roxanne which is this light brown right here. I'm going to apply that to my crease. It's going to be a very quick eye makeup because this tutorial is not about the eye makeup, right? So once that is nicely blended out, now I'm going to take this purple shade right here which is called Royalty and uh, I'm going to pack that color on my eyelid. And I'm again taking that same brown shade and making sure that the ends and everything is looking really nice and blended in together. Just like that. There is a lot of fallout but we can fix that. I also want to add a little bit of black on the outer corners. So I'm taking this black shade right here which is called Abyss. And I'm packing that black on the outer corners. So now I'm going to just dust off the fallout. I'm also going to apply this obsessed shade which is perfect for the inner corners. And I'm going to apply that there. Also... On the brow bone. I actually uh, fixed my lighting a little bit so that you can actually see what I'm doing. Yeah, then I'm taking a flat brush and just applying this brown which we applied on the crease shade and a little bit of purple and also a little bit of black to balance everything out. So once that is done, I'm sweating like hell actually. So I'm not going to apply eyeliner or cartel on my lower lashes because I do that a lot. So I'll be applying something nude on my lower waterline. So I'm going to take this nude eyeliner by Wet n Wild and... So you can see that our eyes has opened up a little bit more. And I think I'm going to finish off with some mascara um, instead of liner. We always and always do liner, right? So this time I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to curl up my lashes and then I'll be doing my mascara. some lashes at the end but before that let me finish the brows for my brows I'm just randomly applying some eyeshadow so yeah now as that is done let's uh, finish off with the lips I'm not gonna line I'm just gonna apply a nude pink lipstick because I don't want any kind of attention going to the lips I want full attention on the eyes and I think it's a very beautiful look right so we haven't done eyeliner or anything and it's a pretty awesome. So I'm going to apply some lashes first and then I'll be back. So I have put on some lashes. This is the Ardell Demi Wispies and uh, they are quite fluttery but I totally messed up on the size. It's not sitting properly whatsoever. I tried my best but nothing is working out and I'm so annoyed. But uh, I'm so happy with the eye look but I think something is missing. A little something so I'm going to apply some glitter thing on my inner corners. This is the Swiss Beauty um, liquid eyeshadow, metallic eyeshadow, which is something like this. This is in the silver shade and I'm actually gonna apply this to my inner corners, like starting from the inner corners, you know. A little bit on the lower lashes as well. I'm then gonna take, all right, the other side of the brush and I'm just going to like blend it out towards the purple so that there's nice kind of a transition going on you can actually wear it to like parties or you know any special occasions it's very pretty it's very beautiful just on the inner one third of the eyes and it's really pretty right it really opens up the eyes and I really love it. So anyways, let's move on to the neck makeup now, which is the illusion part. And I'm so excited about it. I'm actually inspired by a couple of videos that professional makeup artists have done. And I'll list them down below if you want to check them out. The methods are pretty much the same, but I think each one has their own perspective. And, uh, and my perspective is that I don't have a bad background. Oh, uh, black background. Yeah, that's kind of a tongue twister. Okay, so uh, that's why I'm going to prefer the green screen method, which I think Smitha Beauty has done. Smitha D Beauty. So uh, yeah, so I'm going to do that. and I'm going to make my neck disappear. Okay, so let's get started. This is actually a trial and error. I'm really nervous, but let's do this anyways. I'll be using the browns and blacks from the Japanese palette and I have no idea which are browns 
I'll be using but obviously you can choose the browns that suits your skin tone but um, I'm actually gonna mix and match like whatever catches my eyes first I'll be using them so yeah I will be using this black anyways and uh, for my green I'll be using the James Charles palette because I don't have any other green eyeshadow with me so yeah okay so let's get started Oh my god, now I already look like a necklace. So we have to like, you know, cut this area and stuff. But before that, let me do one more step, which is making a fake jawline. The extension between my face and the neck. So I'm going to apply some green. Alright, so I fixed a couple of things. Now I'm gonna move on to doing the fun part, which is applying some green. I'm using this James Charles palette, which is the only palette that I have a green eyeshadow, and I'm using this green. Maybe both mixed together. green here and I hope that will disappear so yeah this is 